One last capability we'll talk about, recommender systems. Uh, very important and lots and lots of debate about how to build them correctly. This is not an academic topic. Amazon estimates that 35% of its revenue comes from its recommendation engine. Netflix estimates that 75% of its views come from recommendations. This is my, home, my Amazon homepage. These are not just a bunch of recommendations from one system. They're actually multiple systems, all using different criteria to try to guess what I would like. We had a, a, a customer recently, a, a, a food delivery app that was faced with this same situation. You have four recommenders operating on everything from the user's individual uh, order history to restaurant popularity. And they wanted to know how can they decide which recommender to use. In an app, you can just put all of them up in different places like Amazon does. But when you're sending a message, you only got one message. You got to choose something. So we assigned tags to the recommenders, the actual systems, and the agents were able to learn user preferences for each system. And so you can see that there was one system that was very popular. In fact, 45% of the users exclusively liked that system. But there were another 9% of users that exclusively liked the worst performing system. If we had only gone, picked a winner and gone with the one best system, we would have left a lot of value on the table. But also, this highlights one of the benefits of agents. When, you, when an agent makes a decision and actually does something on your behalf, it becomes a data factory it learns from the user's response, and that response becomes new data for the next iteration. 